Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Evan Katz, Katz Chiropractic and Rehabilitation Clinic in Boulder and Easton's Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu in Boulder and Colorado. I'm here with Professor John Combs, who if you're a fan of Jiu-Jitsu, you probably know who he is at this point. Today what we're going to do is go over how do we keep our body safe when training, especially with our training partner, partners and in our academy. There's a lot of patients I see that do Jiu-Jitsu, myself included, that we want to continue to do this for a really long time, especially when you get older age, not saying I'm older, but I want to do this till I'm 80. But with some of the younger guys, we want to make sure that you can continue to do this when you're my age. We're going to go over some normal spinal biomechanics. The worst position for our low back and our neck is flexion, especially flexion with rotation. So we're going to go over some normal mechanics through uh, passing, um, guard, as well as kiss the dragon or coming underneath or maybe guillotines. So uh, look for these videos here. We're going to continue with some now. All right, thanks. So now I'm here with Professor John Combs and Coach Pete here. We're gonna go over the guillotine. Now honestly, when I'm training here in the gym with my friends, whenever they get me the guillotine and my neck is flexed, I tap. You can choose to fight out of it. The way that I like to train right now at my age is I wanna find out how I got there in the first place as opposed to trying to fight out and potentially injuring my cervical spine. And we'll show you what, how that can happen. So John here is gonna, unfortunately, we're sacrificing Pete's neck. And at this time, John's gonna get a guillotine with some pressure on the top of his head causing flexion. And here, you know, if they're training in the gym and John's really pushing, the amount of flexion that's occurring on Pete's neck, Pete might be able to fight out of this, but the risk of just getting hurt is greater. So from here, there's really not a whole lot Pete can do other than tapping or fighting out of it and increasing that injury. So again, training with your partners, let's try to minimize this type of position and really trying to fight out of it or really cranking down on your partner where they, you know, they may not be able to go on and train with you next time because you hurt or they hurt or um, you kind of have the reputation in your gym. In a tournament, do what you need to do. But uh, let's try to minimize this flexion injuries and potential flexion injuries where a cumulative effect can certainly cause more chronic pain. So thanks a lot and uh, I'll see you soon.